Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to enable or disable the Steam input. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to controller tab. Now over here, select enable Steam input, and then you can relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can go to properties once again, controller tab. You can even try disable steam input and then check. So try enable and disable both and check which one is working fine for you. Still not working. The next step is to uh, you can go to steam and then go to settings and then you can go to the controller tab. And first of all, uh, you can make a right click on this game properties and then you can uh, go to the controller tab and you can use the default try be, uh, you can try use default and then if that does not work you can try enable or disable and for each with each setting you can go to settings and then go to the controller tab now over here you can see enable steam input for generic controllers so you can turn this on and then you can check you have to relaunch the game and then check if that does not work uh, you if you're using this uh, Xbox controller, you, if this is on, you can turn this off and now you can turn on this generic controllers, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, you can uh, turn this off and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to go to human interface devices in device manager, make a right click, go to the start menu and then go to device manager over here. And then expand human interface devices. Now, if over, over here, if you find any external keyboard or mouse or and if you find this key chrome keyboard or mouse or maybe razor huntsman keyboard or mouse you can just make a right click and then you can disable i don't have it but if you find it disable it disconnect external keyboard and mouse so if you have any external keyboard and mouse which you are not using disconnect it if you have key chrome or razor huntsman keyboard connected disconnect it disconnect key chrome or razor huntsman dongle if the dongle is connected disconnect it disconnect any kind of dongle or usb adapter connected to the computer Disable, uh, disconnect this Razer Tartarus, unplug flight simming hardware like if you have uh, any external devices like HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter disconnected. Disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnected. Disconnect arcade stick, disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any virtual controller like VJoy etc, you can disable it or uninstall it. Any kind of virtual joystick application install, you can disable it or uninstall it and then relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to for PlayStation controller user enable it in sound control panel. Now for this type in control panel in Windows set box go to control panel. Go to hardware and sound and then click on sound over here. And you have to use the wired connection. Connect your controller using the wired connection. So it has to be wired connection and then you can connect your controller. Once connected you will see your DualSense wireless controller make a right click and if and if disabled you can enable it in my case it is already enabled make a right click configure speaker quadraphonic next and then make sure front left and right and surround speaker both are checked over here and then click on next click on finish and then once done now relaunch the game and then check the next step is to use wired connection so connect your controller using the usb cable uh, and then once you have the wired connection check next step is to select the controller which you want to use and then restart the game so type in usb game controllers in windows search box and set up game controllers now over here uh, you can go to advanced option over here select go to advanced and then you, you can select the controller which you want to use. So if you want to use this Xbox, you can select Xbox. If you want to use DualSense, you can select DualSense. So whichever controller you want to use, uh, you can use a, uh, select your controller and then. Not working. The next step is to for PlayStation controller, you can use DS4 Windows. You can search in Google. You can install this DS4 Windows, uh, install it, configure your controller and then check. Next step is to update controller using the PlayStation Accessories app or Xbox Accessories app. So if you have Xbox controller, you can type in uh, Xbox Accessories app in Microsoft Store. Search for Xbox Accessories app. And if not installed, you can install this Xbox Accessories app. Once installed, you can launch Xbox Accessories app. And then you have to connect your controller using the USB cable. It has to be wired connection. 
So connect your controller, it will detect your controller. Once your controller is detected, now click on these three dots, more options, click on it. Then if you see the update, click on update, continue and let the update complete. Once the update is complete, now you can relaunch the game and then check. Now for PlayStation controller user, uh, user you can uh, use PlayStation accessories app. Uh, if not installed, you can open this. You can go to PlayStation website, go to the official website and you can download this PlayStation accessories app. And then you can run this exe file install it in my case i already have it installed so you can install this playstation accessories app and then you can launch playstation accessories app uh, it's telling me to update so if it's telling me to update update it and then connect your uh, controller it's connected you will see up in my case it's up to date it's already up to date if it is not up up to date you will see update option so you can click on update and you can update the firmware and then next step is to launch steam in big picture mode now go to steam at the top right here you can see big picture mode icon at the top right click on big picture mode over here enter big picture mode once the steam is in big picture mode and you, now you can uh, you can find the game uh, in the list. Find the game, or you can even search the game. And then you can launch the game from here once the Steam is in big picture mode. So, one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So, that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time, and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.